Welcome to MediaPad Pro. MediaPad Pro takes all of your content, stills, video, and audio, and organizes them into one simple and cohesive app for the iPad. Once you have all these things organized into three different categories, it's very simple to upload and organize on the iPad itself. I separate into stills, motion, and audio. Once I have them all sized and ready to go, I go right over to iTunes. I have downloaded MediaPad Pro. I put it in my dock there. And in file sharing, you'll see MediaPad show up. And I click on it. And I'm going to go to Add Content. So it brings me up to my section that I have already organized. I have a lot of still images. And I'm going to organize them by different sections that I'm going to put them in within the stills category. So I rename them here by whatever section I want to put them in and what order. That way there it's easier for me to categorize and organize it on the iPad side. So I select all of those and I'm going to bring all of those in. Because I'm connected to my iPad, as soon as you click add, it's automatically uploading it to MediaPad on the iPad itself. Then I want to go back and I want to grab my motion content. So I have my select files that I know that I want. And I'm going to add my three video files and upload them. Next I go back and I have some audio that I want to upload and I upload those three. Once all of this content is uploaded here, I can disconnect the iPad and the rest of my organization and upload of my media is onto the iPad itself. One of the other things I can do is create artwork for the iPad and often I'll put that in a separate folder as well. So I have an artwork folder as well and then I can just upload that. So once you've created your login, here you go, here's your login and we can go to add info and I have my iPad artwork here and you would put your artwork there. Then I have also like images that I have already cropped, so that's good. Just make sure you save it all the time. Okay, so now I want to go and um, I can change, I can make it um, so that things are different colors. I prefer this one. I can set my background colors to whatever I want. Um, I have just a plain black loaded. Now I go in and I want to manage my portfolio. So each section will show up when I put content in it. So I want to add a category. And my new category is called um, Locations. I'm going to save that category. And I'm going to look for the category in here. I select the category. And I want to go to my section that has locations in it. And here's where you can go in and add all of your different takes. So I want to add all of these. Done. And I'm going to add all those images. Now you'll see it's importing them. From here, I can decide to edit it, and I can move it around if I want to move this one up, or so forth. Here, I can change to a different type of fade and cross dissolve if I want to do a slideshow, and that's all set. Again, I can change these all around. So now I go back, and I want to save this. Saved. Okay. And I want to check out my content. So these buttons will only show up if you have information in them. So here is my new section called Locations. And everything's there. So let me go back. And let me check and see if the slideshow works good. There's my slideshow.
so I know that's all working good. If I turn the slideshow off, I can then go back and scroll through them really quick. Again, here you go. Again, I have multiple portfolios. I put multiple portfolios in. I can always go back and click and look. Now, same scenario for every type of work that you want to put into your portfolio. So I want to go back. I have a couple of um, portfolio sections lined up here, but I want to go back and I want to add more. So I go back to my backside and manage. Okay. So I want to go here and add a video and I want to add a category and this is called Carnival and I save that now I go to Carnival select it and then I want to bring the file in add video there's my video now now I go back here save again just to be safe I go home I look at my content and here is my carnival. I know my content has come in, so I want to go back. Okay, everything's there, and I go back again. Now, I have added all my content in each one of my three portfolios, but I now want to add a website link. So I want to create a new category add category, the category is going to be TomTom. Um, -tom. I save that and I select the category. There's the category and I'm going to enter the URL. Tom, Tom, oh, I have to add a name. TomTom. -tom. Now I add digital. So here is my TomTom -tom category. Now I go back, I save again, I go back here, and I go to view my content. Now you'll notice this additional spot came up. So I click and assign onto their website. I can see what I've done. I can actually browse within the server. MediaPad Pro is a new content viewer for the iPad. You can customize everything, all your content, all of your information, and then look at all your different forms of media. Video, stills, audio, or web content. Again, you can choose whatever you want here. Could be your information. So here I choose to look at my video. I have a bunch of videos, TV spots, and I load them up. Ugh, I'd give my right arm not to have to cook dinner tonight. Yeah, but that's going to make it real hard to do the dishes. What? What? Bertucci's. You couldn't. So if I've seen enough of that, I just click back and I come into it. When the, the spot is done playing, it'll automatically kick back right into that original viewer with all the options. I've seen enough. I go back. Again, this is the section of just my videos. So I have up to six spots that I can put in there with different videos. Or you could put all of your video content in one little box and label it real, however you'd like it. This is the way I choose to do it. And again, this area is all customizable too. So then I go to my still section and I want to look at my different portfolios of still. And I choose this section and I have a whole bunch of images in here that are shooting from the Caribbean and I choose those. If I'm done with there, I go back and I want to look at another portfolio. Um, here's another portfolio. I can also turn on the slideshow and look at it in slideshow form and it'll just play by itself in slideshow. And again, when this is done, this will also kick you right back into the main portfolio section in the still area. If I've seen enough of that, I can go to my web content. Say I've created a website. I'm a designer. I've created a website and I want to keep the the viewer in the actual application. This prevents you the viewer from having to go to Safari and load something in Safari. This is all connected Wi-Fi to the website that you've created. So I can load up to six other 
websites here and again it keeps the the viewer in this controlled environment if you're a band you may have videos from your concert you may have still headshots you may have your website and then you have maybe your audio or you're an actor and you have do voiceovers you can just put your your audio content that's pretty much MediaPad Pro. So when the person is finished viewing the portfolios and all the content, they can sign a guest book. Very simple. They just type in their name, their email, and any kind of note they would like. Now they've signed it. Now you also have their content, their information as well. Again, I'm done with it. I go back and it's all set. There's the media pad icon. Thanks for taking a look.